YouTube. What's up? It's Scroll School here. Hi everyone. Uh, today's video is actually going to be on quite a serious note, actually. Um, so yes, uh, before I stream today, I thought I'd address this video just so you guys can, we might stop asking me if uh, what's wrong, what's wrong, uh, because people can tell when I'm upset. And uh, yeah, I'd just rather not mention it on my stream and just mention it on a video, and so it's all cleared up. But um, we've had we've I've had some really really bad news, and I'm going to try my hardest to resolve it and get streaming ASAP. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna explain, and hopefully you guys can understand. And yes, and. So you know the situation. Before we carry on, guys, I wanted to say I expect no help whatsoever from anyone. Uh, I have a lot of friends online, um, and I have my fan base. Uh, you guys help so much just by me being here, so I don't expect any more help. Um, because I feel like this is my fault and I need to resolve it. So, now I've said that, I'm going to talk about what's actually happened. This time last year, I wasn't working. Um, I finished college and I sat around looking for a job with my ex-girlfriend. Um, because we didn't have a job, the current place that we were staying out was... Our rent was paid for us because we didn't have a full-time job. That's just how it works in the UK. And basically, it wasn't a nice place. Um, it was pretty crap, actually. But then something happened in March. I found streaming. And um, I got popular on Twitch. And I got a Twitch partnership. And I was getting revenue. Um, which paid my bills, uh, which I know was pretty better than the benefits that we were on at the time. So because of that, um, I had to stop my benefits. Um, because, God, I fucking hate that word because it makes me sound like a tramp. But, meh. Hard times it was. It was hard times. Uh, because I stopped my benefits, um, my rent was not paid for me. So it was I was liable to pay all my rent, which was fine. But there was one catch. The place I was staying out was very small and shit, and it was run down in a run down area, as you guys may know, may or may not know. The rent was about two hundred pounds per week, which is fucking insane. We were there for a month and a half um, while we wasn't on benefits, so therefore. I kind of got myself into quite a lot of money problems. So we quickly resolved it by moving to where I am now. The bad news is when we tried getting this place, they wouldn't put it in my name because I had rent arrears with the other people, the place before. So it was, as you guys can see, it was £150 per week. And it was paid for me. But it was £150 per week. And when I moved into the place I am now, um, I was getting letters asking to pay back the money. And in total, for a month and a half being there, around about a month and a half, um, I still to this day owe them um, £1,600. Which is quite a big deal. So this place where I'm at is not in my name. It's actually my girlfriend's, ex-girlfriend's name. Yes, a few months ago me and my ex-girlfriend broke up. And um, basically, this is where it gets hard. I pay my rent here where I am every month, I do. Um, I've actually got a direct debit running out of this. I'm slowly paying that off every month. But basically... Um, the landlord, which is the person that owns the building, 
and the the housing agency who put me in here want me out uh, because they don't like the look of my track sheets which is the, my reference sheets because the last place I stayed at I have a bad reference because I owe them money uh, it's not a matter of fact of just paying 1.6 grand off and it will be fine and dandy no because on their sheets they're reading it as I don't pay my rent so therefore I'm not trusted and I'm a bad tenant so I'm getting evicted but I, I, I have a pre-court warning for well, this other place but that's not a big deal it says I'll read it with you um, we acknowledge receipt of um, noti your notice to leave the current address um, on the 4th of the 1st, 2014. On the uh, 4th of January, I have to be out. So what did I do? How did I react? Well, I got a phone call yesterday, and that's a big reason why I wasn't streaming. I got a phone call, and basically the man over the phone was really upset, because I actually know the guy, and he said, I'm, I'm sorry, Ali, but it's not looking good, and I think you need to leave. As a human, um, I have a philosophy. I really do believe everything happens for a reason. So I wasn't angry at the guy because it's not his fault. And basically I told him it, it's okay, it'll be fine. But then I spoke to my mum. And my mum, I love my mum so much. And my mum wanted to put her name as the tenant just so I could stay here while I stream and do my job. And so I rang back. And I spoke to one of the people in charge. And they were so rude. I can't describe how demoralising I felt. It was the most demoralising thing talking to this guy. Because he spoke to me like I was fucking ten. It felt like I was back in school. He spoke to me with the most raw attitude ever. Something on the lines of this. No, but, well, basically, um, I don't, I don't care. I don't care about you or your mum. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, no, you got to get out because we've had enough and uh, you've messed us around and we're not really interested in having a tenant like you. So yeah, I don't, we don't care about your mum. We just want you out. You got uh, till next month, and that's that. And I was like, hold on, please. Like, uh, is there anything? I can, what, what if I pay off my my arrears? And he said. Have you paid that off yet? Well, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, no. I only got to next month. I'm busy. Okay, I'm going to let you go now. Biggest dick in the fucking world. And I was so upset and angry. But, at the end of the day, everything happens for a reason. And I guess they're just doing their job. Um, I don't know what's going to happen. It's not a matter of fact of just looking for a new place and putting it in my name. Because I have a bad reference. A reference is where you try to get a place. So... Not in a very good mood. I have one month to pack and look for a place. So I'm sorry. I am so sorry if my streams go a bit shit. Because I, I'm i trying not to be stressed out. I'm just trying to keep a smile on my face. But I don't know what's going to happen to me or Draven. And I don't know where I'm going to go. Um, I really don't. But... I will try my hardest to sort something out and get streaming ASAP as I love streaming. It's just what I enjoy and it's what I do for a living. I know you can see Draven's ass, and you guys might not be taking me seriously, but um, that's that really. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to, all I'm going to do this whole month is just stream my hardest and put a lot of hours in. I streamed for nine hours the other day and it was the best time I've had in a long time and um, I'm going to just stream and save up all my revenue just so I have a place to go uh, something but yes that is the situation um, I'm sorry this video is a bit bummy and I might have bummed a lot of you guys out but at the end of the day I will sort something out and you guys help me so much I don't, I don't want any help anymore because you guys have helped me so much in the past with just being there for me with the breakup yeah and just for support so I don't want any other help you guys have been uh, I've got to do this on my own 
and I'll be f I'll be fine. I will find a way to to get streaming again full time. Where I'll be online every day. Until then, guys, I'm just gonna go stream and work some account. Thanks for watching the video, and I'd um, I'll see you guys uh, around. Uh, you can follow me on Facebook uh, if you want uh, updates. I'll probably I'll update if anything happens. If uh, yeah, and I'll definitely make another in real life video log um, if anything comes up. Oh, and um, yeah, I'm looking to make a really good highlight video of this whole week of streaming because I've got a lot of highlights because I know a lot of people want to see highlight videos of my stream and in real life video blogs. Off that, guys. Uh, we're done on one again. And yeah. I'll see you guys on the live stream then. Peace.